Welcome back, Earth Angels. This is Tiffany with Earth Angel 444, Love Guide. So I'm back with another message. I have already meditated over the cards. Um, yeah, I've already gone over the cards and intuitively um, I've prayed over the cards, but we can go ahead and pray so that we can get started. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for your divine insight and your wisdom. I pray that you would protect this reading and the energy in this reading. I bind and rebuke all demonic energy and forces, and I plead the blood of Jesus over this space, over the collective. God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would continuously give me divine insight and open me, open my mind to exactly what it is that you want me to say and to tell the collective okay amen <clears throat> okay let's get started so this this story that i have here is showing me that there was a cycle closed out and it's like you were going through something collective that continuously repeated over and over. It was like if this was a series of events that just continued to happen kind of like in the same order. Um, and you have officially moved on to the next phase in your life. So like you have completed this cycle, you've closed out and, um, you know, like you've completed this journey with whatever this is. Now there is a person that is being completely illuminated to this. Um, I have illumination out here twice. So it's like this person is getting a double, <clears throat> excuse me, a double portion of illumination right now and what they're being illuminated to is that you behave in a way that is morally right and your character is it's seen as you know like this is something that you do in secret and openly it looks like your faith this person has been illuminated to the fact that what you believe is truly like transformed who you are as an individual all over and this is like um they're being divinely guided to like really take a close look at this this person is very sad like they could just appear um in a very like depressing energy just kind of out of nowhere you don't really see it coming like this person is having like these ups and downs and how they feel because they're being spiritually led to see it they are being spiritually led to understand that something has closed um and now that they've been illuminated they see that you do not operate in the fullness of your power you don't abuse your power you don't do anything in a way where you're coming across aggressive or intentional um, malicious or to hurt anyone you know you're very much like you would rather walk away from a fight or an argument than be a part of something that's going to you know cause you any type of stress or anyone else and this is like the divine is speaking this to this person and now this person sees you as the goat or they might see you as being very like strong and determined, like you're very ambitious. They also could think that you're a little materialistic, <clears throat> but they see you as someone who is committed to your obligations and you are committed to spiritual rebirth and you're also committed to truth and clarity. And this is something that like they feel like who you are as a person, your honesty, your um your truth, your rebirth, your you know the ambitions that you have, the leadership and service and the work that you do, this is really heavily influencing how this person feels about you. It's stirring up like compassion. This person feels committed to you in a certain way. They feel like you would be a perfect union. And they may have saw, they may like They want, they like their honest truth is they want to have some form of divine relationship with you in the future. They want you to be a part of what is going to happen to them, you know, next in life or how they're guided and in, in which direction they go. <clears throat> I feel like it was this person was sad. Like once this truth was revealed, once things were really enlightened for them, 
they kind of like stepped into this, you know, somber type of energy. But this is also how now that they're being awakened to how they feel about you, how they see you and how they know that you're going to, that you are supposed to play a direct role in what happens to their future or the things that occur like in, in their life, you know, um, they now see that you were in this very, very sad and very melancholy, melancholy, like energy. You may not have said much to anyone. You could be the type of person to like cry alone. Like you're not going to let anybody see you cry. You're, you will step out and excuse yourself and then come back all the way put together. <laughs> Like, I'm not laughing. Like, I can completely relate, <laughs> you know. But it's like, they see purpose with you. They see shared values. They see how the connection would be good in all areas. This is some form of divine relationship. As we go deeper, I, I guess we can kind of like narrow it down because I feel like, you know, you can have love connections and relationships with different um, soulmates or different people in your life. It doesn't always have to be like a sexual connection, um, but it could very well be. This could be. So um, they're planning now. They're, they're coming up with some form of action or some plan of action. Um, they're trying to decide if they're going to stay or if they're going to go from where they are. And they are just in this space of anticipation right now. This is like the grass. <clears throat> they thought the grass was greener on the other side, or they're looking at you collective like the grass is greener where you are. They want this generational wealth or this generational blessing. And that's really what they have faith to move towards. They want to move towards something that will, um, a part, like a partnership, or they want to plan something that can be built with multiple, gener like generation after generation. So this could involve family or this could involve um, a, a, like a high level committed relationship where there's marriage involved or there's the thought of you know marriage they at this time they feel like they they missed out an opportunity they are not having these new opportunities for them and it's like the things are not even happening and then ending things are fizzling out quickly they just feel like they missed out on a lot of new opportunities. They don't feel very good about themselves right now. And they see you having this great victory or this open victory right now. And they feel like they're being punished. They're, they're experiencing whatever type of calamity they've gone through. They could have experienced some loss or there is something that could have happened to this person, but they feel like it's because they, they moved away from you so quickly. Now this person is like really in this space of introspection and they're reflecting and soul searching. This person is literally asking themselves, is this my fault? Like this might be the first time this person has really been guided to go deep inside and to self-reflect. They may be in a space of solitude, but their spirit guides like the angelic is they're guiding them to get out of bed and to confess something. They're guiding this person to pick themselves up and to be brave and to emit whatever shameful act they took part of, whatever part they played. But it looks like they're seeing now that they're, they're searching and they're seeking within because they feel like they were delusional and unrealistic. Like this person feels like they may have been exhausted and they need to recharge or they need to regain some, some type of like mindset or insight or something, but they're, they are wanting to confess that 
they may have placed some things on you and allowed you to kind of take the blame for some things that were not true. They may want to say that, you know, there were some things that happened or um, I knew that you were innocent or I knew that you didn't have a part to play in that. But I figured I thought that if I could, this is what this person collective is thinking. I thought that if I could place this this iniquity on you, if I could place this wrongdoing on you, if I could place this ick on you, then maybe the rest of the people also would run you out of here. And if you get pushed out of here, then that sin and that iniquity, that lie, that whatever that is goes with you. And they wanted you to be in the wood, in the woods or in the wilderness experiencing just being alone and dealing with, you know, sins or accusations or trauma or judgment that was not your own. They feel like they, there's, you know, like this person is like, there's a thing as a falling angel. And then there's a thing as like trying to push an angel to fall. And this is what they're seeing now. And they are like, I was very delusional and unrealistic. Like, This person felt like <clears throat> you were affluent and <clears throat> you had this established wealth or there was something about you that was very balanced and very abundant. Like, you know, like um, you were very focused on taking care of yourself and being abundant within yourself, but you were also very focused on others and nurturing other people and they didn't understand who you really were. They saw you being established <clears throat> And they didn't know how you were able to have that balance. They didn't understand that. This person did not see you as a spiritual leader. They didn't see you as someone that would be able to speak for them or anyone else in anyone, in, in someone's time of need. They maybe felt like you had some in, incapacities or, or, you know, you would, you were incapacitated to a certain extent in certain areas. Maybe you had a lot of insecurity previously, or maybe you weren't, um, a, um, maybe you weren't as doing as well career wise, or there are some achievement, there is something that you've done that was completely unexpected. So it's like when this person placed this on you, they felt almost justified. They felt like you are like this siren type of energy where you're almost not even really human. And this is kind of like maybe how they rationalize this. They thought that you were the type of person that would lure, um, you know, people in to drain them, to take from them. You would lure them into their death like you're not uh, for real, you're not, you know, real or something like that. This person could have even like, you know, treated you like how they do in the myths or the tales with the sirens, like, oh, when you see this, or when you hear that type of voice, or when you see this, don't look at it, don't go towards it, cover your ears <laughs> or your eyes or whatever, like this person. So they felt like they could, you were not completely human. They didn't understand your balance and they thought that you would go away never to be seen again. And it would be forgotten about. You would just take the burden of that and carry the weight of that. But now that this person is suffering from there's something going on in this person's life where they're going to have to pay back. Like they, they are seen as having committed a crime or some very wrong, some wrongdoing or injustice that deserves to be compensated in some way, shape or form. And this person is understanding this. They see that this pharaohic spirit that they had, this spirit where they were so intimidated by you or what you could produce that they wanted to completely wipe out and, comp you know, like wipe out everything or anything that you birthed. All your new ideas, 
This is the type of person that'll tear down anything that you say. Like, oh my gosh, I just thought about that. What are you? No, that's that's stupid. That's terrible. You know, this is somebody that'll tear down every, they will destroy every piece of fruit that you pluck from all of your hard work and your labor, from investing and sowing seeds into yourself and nurturing them and growing them. This is like, this person is seeing this now and they are in too much pain to bear. They're in tears and sadness and they feel destroyed. They feel like they've been left for dead now and they're realizing their fate. And their fate is they're losing everything. Everything is coming, collapsing down for this person. And this is retribution. We can get some more clarifiers. Um, the video is not that long. We can go a little bit deeper. Let's see. So they're getting this double portion of illumination from the Holy Spirit. They see who you are. You didn't fight back. This person must have done something. You didn't fight back. They didn't see that you were sad. They didn't even relate to your pain or your sadness in regards to whatever situation this is until they realized that you were connected to their destiny. And what happens in you play a role in some sequence of events or something that's going to affect them in the future and they know it. The Holy Spirit is fighting for you and speaking for you, collective. Hang on just a moment. Hold on. I think I hear squeezers outside. Hold on. My cat outside on the, the balcony. What's the squeezers? Okay. So this person moved away from you and now they feel heavily judged. Yes, ret retribution. They're paying for what they did. Let's get more into what they did, but it looks like they've lost everything. Holy Spirit, will you please clarify for me this world, illumination, and illumination in just the just retreat? Oh, this person right now, they don't know if they should come and apologize or if they should go run and hide. Like, they're so stuck right now. They want to come and run in and immediately apologize. But at the same time, they're still trying to process everything. They're trying to process what they know now. Chemistry. They feel like they didn't have to do this at all because it's like this person really has strong feelings for you. They have very strong feelings for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They don't even know if they should tell you that they still care about you. They want to say something in the future. They don't know if they want to say something right now, but they want to tell you that they care about you. And this is clarifying destiny, lovers, and truth and clarity. The ace of swords, the goat. They see you as the greatest of all time. You deserve love. They want to come in and tell you, but they don't really even know. They don't know what to do right now. This person is literally still in the planning stage. They must have just been completely just like illuminated to your moral and just character. The Holy Spirit must have had to really, really, really put the bright lights on this in this person's face. What else, Holy Spirit? Clarify judgment, Charlie. Page of Wands reverse, six of Wands reverse. Clarify Holy Spirit. Ooh. <laughs> this person is in agony. Hmm. They feel like everything is going to happen 
right away. They feel like things are going to happen really fast. Pay attention to the red flags. They really do feel like they're now they're starting to pay attention to everything that's been lost. Now they're starting to pay attention to the fact that they are paying. They are paying for what they did. They this is seen as some form of like they committed some injustice to you. They are in tears. Realizing their faith, wow. They feel like they've been left for dead now. And this person is exhausted thinking about this. They are exhausted thinking about this. Mm -mm -mm. They were more ready to let you go in the past. They don't know how they're even going to let you go now. Because they feel like soon they won't have any opportunities coming towards them. You're still going to be publicly, you know, celebrated and have all of this recognition and doing all of this and having the success and victory. And they are going to still experience calamity in their life for moving away from you the way that they did. They feel like the outcome that they have, like they're going to confess, they want to admit, and they want to be there. They're going to say that they don't feel proud. They feel very ashamed because they drew in everything that happened. It's like, it's the stuff that they kept speaking and affirming. It was the things that they visualized. It was all of this stuff. It was all of that. That's what's causing this. And they want to say this now. They see this when they're, now that they're in the self-reflection and solitude, they're getting all of this spiritual enlightenment and this inner guidance now. And they're like, I must have been really like asleep or just totally drained. Like, where was my, like, how this is very... Hmm. Holy Spirit, thank you. Clarify the hermit. Oh no, wait, that's already been done. My apologies. Clarify the queen of pentacles, nose and shoulders, state gold and siren. This could be a child. This could be someone younger than you. Or somebody that is, um, okay, so this could be a child. This could be someone that is just younger than you. Or this is somebody that is always in this childlike energy where they think every day is a day is a vacation. Like everything is supposed to be perfect or they just have this immature outlook on like everything is supposed to be like a honeymoon or, and that's not, they wanted some type of fairy tale maybe. Reconciliation. So they want to come back in and apologize and fix this, whatever this is, heal whatever this is. They want to heal this. Yeah, they feel like they're hurt. They feel like they spoke this into existence. And they really see themselves losing everything. They, they feel you. It's just like they have the faintest. They have very, very little access to your energy. It's not enough. Whatever they remember of you, the times they've had, they don't want those things. They don't want you to go away. They don't want you to disappear out of their life. So now they want to be fully present so that they can return and do something about this. This pharaohic energy is destroying this person. The thought of some type of generational blessing or generational wealth not being shared. Now they're ready to tell you that you deserve love. <laughs> they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tell you all of that now. Lovely.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. They're ready to let go of control. They're ready to let go of dictating and trying to create outcomes that are most beneficial to them. They're ready to let go all of that because ultimate betrayals cause ultimate pain and suffering. They want the worst of this to be over. They don't want to be this tyrant anymore. They're tired of paying for this. They're like, I only hit, hit your car one time. Nope. Here's the camera. You just kept hitting it. Like, yeah. Only did that. No. Because if you're paying over and over again, then maybe that is a reason why you should be checking your, you know, and this is not you collective. This is, this is the, your person, whoever is on your mind. And of course, this is not going to resonate with everybody. And every detail of every reading is not going to resonate with everybody, right? Like my, my apostle used to say, eat the meat and spit out the bone. Like, you know better than to eat the bone, right? It's not for you. Like, don't eat more than what you can handle, right? So, but most of most of you guys, you guys really know, like, the difference. But, yeah. Yeah, somebody was really trying to come for any idea that you had, anything. They were like, let's just get rid of all of it at once. This is like putting you in a space where they knew that you weren't capable of even sustaining there, but not only doing that, but leaving you to entice bloodthirsty animals. It's like they put you in a position where not only did they want to see you drown, but they wanted to see you get eaten up by crocodiles too. They're going to start making an effort. <sighs> making an effort and religious factors. This person has been enlightened to who you are collective. And they want to give you a big old kiss on the cheek now. See, I always liked you. See? <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave it there all right like share and subscribe okay bye guys